What is up YouTube? Bubbles and Ball Cards back with another video. A little late recording this one. Let time slip away from me today and honestly forgot that it was Tuesday. I was thinking it was Monday and uh, so I needed to get the podcast recorded uh, with Refractor Jones over on the Card Chatter. Go check it out. We are on episode 26. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday we upload at 8 a.m. Um, a lot of hobby talk, uh, two guys that just love the hobby and, you know, give not only opinions, but advice and, you know, just talk, talk cardboard. So anyway, um, if you watched the last video, uh, you know, I reflected on some of my purchases that I've made in 2022, some of my pickups, um, just sharing them, appreciating them and kind of discussing what my focus is going to be going into Chantilly. I have it up on the show here, uh, CSA shows for the Chantilly show. It's this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Always an amazing show. Um, the autograph guest lists are always just massively insane there. Um, big, big, big time superstar names. Um, I don't really do much with the autograph side because it can get really pricey. But, uh, like, the people they have there, they definitely draw a crowd. It's a great show. Um, and there's a lot of awesome dealers that come to the show. Um, and then, of course, uh, I've talked about it many times before. The people, you know, people that I've became friends with from the area or people that are somewhat local that can travel to this show um, that I've made friends with through the channel or the group or what have you. Um, it's always nice connecting with them, seeing them again, and uh, hanging out. So, um, hopefully, uh, I've, Nats man, I need to check and see if he's still coming. Uh, he's supposed to be coming up. Um, excited, hopefully get to meet him. Uh, Scott's supposed to be coming up. James always comes down to visit. Uh, Flippin' Steve, is, he said he was going to uh, probably make it on Sunday. Um, and then there's usually, you know, some other folks from the area and everything that uh, we get to hang out with. So always a good time. Um, reflecting on my purchases, as I shared, I've gotten a lot of nice stuff. And uh, ever since the, the last Chantilly show and, you know, kind of really been thinking, um, you know, I discussed it in the trimming down the fat video, just uh, focusing more on things that I really, really, really enjoy. And for a while, I was buying Griffey inserts and stuff, and I stopped, and I kind of regretted stopping and, like, getting sidetracked because those I really enjoy picking up. I was a huge Ken Griffey Jr. fan um, in my youth. You know, he was my favorite player. Even though I lived on the East Coast, I rooted for the Mariners just because of Griffey. I didn't like that he went to, you know, the Reds. Um, but when he was on that Mariners team and just, I don't know, there was just something about him and the way he played the game. I tried to emulate him. I even wind, wound up learning how to like hit left-handed just because of watching him and stuff. I wanted to be like Griffey. Um, so obviously picking his stuff up gives me a lot of enjoyment. Um, it's always fun to try to hunt those 90s inserts. And then you toss in the fact that the missus likes collecting Emmett Smith. Uh, I also like collecting Shaq. You know, I really enjoy the hockey stuff now. Um, and then the non-sports stuff, you know, I've talked about that. I'm really enjoying that as well. Um, I have some stuff now to focus on. And instead of like, you know, I, I still am working on my Hall of Fame list as well, my baseball Hall of Fame list. So I have a checklist for that. I have a couple sets I'm working on, but overall I have like things to stay on track with what I want to look for at shows. The beauty of that is it doesn't mean that I have to go spend thousands of dollars. I can, I, I sometimes pressure myself because I go to the show and I'm like, well, I've drove up here, you know, 45 minutes. I've paid to get in, you know, I've been here all day. I have to buy something. Well, 
sometimes that's bad. Like, it's a bad way to look at it. Um, I really, this show, uh, I don't have any pressure or feel the need to go up and buy anything. Um, if I do, and I likely will, great. If I don't, I will be perfectly fine with it. And uh, that's a very good feeling to be in that space because I've always like gotten upset if I went up there and maybe I was looking for something specific or I had targets and I couldn't find them or I couldn't find anybody with good prices on stuff. I would get discouraged and it would kind of like, I wouldn't say ruin the show, but it would like upset me, put me in a down mood or whatever. And I don't have that worry going into this show. So um, I'm going to go up scrounge around in some value boxes uh i've learned that a lot of the stuff that i'm looking for can be found in those value boxes um the griffey inserts barry bonds is another one that i've been trying to pick up um the emmett smith though all of that stuff normally buried in value boxes so i'm gonna start you know digging into them um i'm gonna look at you know maybe some filling out some of the 80s guys or maybe even the 90s guys believe it or not um some of those i'm missing on the registry list now i'm still deciding do i want to go by the registry list or do i just want the tops rookies i have a, a bunch of them in the tops form i don't have some of the registry forms though so uh, i gotta decide on that but um you know i might do some of that and then I might put a little challenge together. And if I do, I, I might, you know, announce it and uh, share it with everybody to maybe folks will have fun with it. But um, I might sit and see if I can buy like a couple cards, spend, you know, I, I'll set like maybe a price and see if I can find a couple cards within that price that I can flip to turn profit on and then share everybody like and go through that process, maybe document it. I also likely will take a little bit of time this show and maybe record some because folks have always asked me about uh, vlogging at shows and I've never been good at that. Uh, might take some time to do that this time. Have a little bit of fun with that. Um, so we'll see how it goes. But overall, I'm just going to go up and have a blast. Uh, I've learned that shows... You know, especially shows like this, especially when I know folks are coming that I enjoy, that I've, like, made friends with through the, the hobby and, the you know, the community and everything. Um, you can't go wrong. Like I said, I can go to this show this weekend and not buy a thing and be perfectly content because I know I'm going to be hanging out with folks and just in a space that I really enjoy. Um, so, whether dealers are overpriced, whether I come home with any amazing cards or not, it's going to be a weekend filled with fun and good company. Uh, if you are going to attend the show, please comment and let me know because I would love to meet you and or if I've met you before, hang out. But I never, like, I'm bad uh, recognizing everybody. Uh, I, I don't know. Um, I don't really see faces often. And, um, you know, so when I'm at the show, maybe, you know, you might look familiar, but I, I'm also not a very, uh, I, I've always said it's funny when people come up to me, I always feel like even to this day, even though it's happened a lot, um, I'm always awkward and I don't mean to be. I actually appreciate when people come up and recognize me. Um, I just never expect it. So it's always like an awkward reaction. I feel like, because again, I don't feel like anybody's going to ever recognize me. So it's cool when they do. If, if you ever see me, uh, please come up and say hi because I'd love to meet you. But uh, again, if you're coming, please let me know. Um, hopefully we can uh, meet up, hang out, all that good stuff. And hopefully you have a great show as well. Also, you know, if you're looking for something, comment below. Um, maybe they'll have it there. But uh, that's all I got. I just wanted to share some thoughts and ideas on what I'm going to be looking for and um, kind of where I'm at. Like I'm very happy and content in the hobby right now. I think it's a wonderful time, and uh, I am always excited when the CSA Chantilly Show comes to town. So, that's all I got for you guys. Hope you have a wonderful evening. Sorry the video is a little bit later tonight, but as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and until the next one, I'm out.